Friday morning. Hey, I got this little job I had to do uh, to modify it. Um, a threading tool so I can use in my uh, quick withdraw gizmo and uh, it's a an ISCAR which is really a good uh, brand they don't make these anymore like this um, and it's a real battered up threading tool so I'm going to turn this square shank round and uh, I didn't want to fire up the 10 double E, so I tried sticking this uh, 4 inch old Union 4 jaw chuck into the uh, lever actuated collet chuck, which uh, makes the uh, part 13 inches from the bearing. And I'm just surprised that. Uh, when I cut this uh, tool shank, I'm gonna use the center. I'll use the center here to hold it. But I just stuck a piece of that 12 L in there and uh, taken about 10,000 steps and it does it without chatter. Check this out. Running about 628 RPM here and I'm hand feeding it. That's a pretty amazing uh, extension. Have it in here and have the tool way extended. That's a uh, that's a solid machine and Axelson. Yeah, I don't think the ten double E would be very happy uh, doing that at all. <laughs> well, I hope you're all doing good. It's. Uh, Still foggy, rainy, and awful outside. And uh, I'm going to try to get out and around today and see what happens. I've been kind of uh, inbound from this. Uh, working on a cold, I think, getting wet all the time. But I'm uh, working on the cutter grinder here. I got this all um, cleaned up. And uh, I'm going to use this lighter weight fixture here, this all tool, for a while and uh, get used to it. And uh, I got that really heavy uh, motorized Cincinnati workhead down there. And I'm going to, I got a big old toolbox or something. I need to get that into a, a, a good storage and protect it. It's really heavy, and I have to uh, basically take it apart to move it. I'm getting older. So, I got things kind of cleaned up here. I um, 
had aluminum everywhere, still got it on the mill, but I got a little bit more aluminum in the mill. Over there, I got this, uh, I'm going to cut this off now. This works good, this American Rotary, and I always cut the power off to it, too, so the machines don't get uh, any uh, hot legs. I uh, come up with a sliding thing and swiveling for my uh, Fordham tool here. And it's just really nice to be able to get to these um, vices. And uh, this one here, too, I, I use a lot. I got to uh, uh, shape these small tools, especially for the jeweler's lathe here that I've got activated. And uh, this here, I'm going to wipe everything down with kerosene. Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Hey, I'll be back later, and uh, you guys have a good morning, okay?